I know this video said lazy girl cleaning habits, but let me get one thing straight. You are not lazy. You are smart because you know that you can have a clean home with minimal effort. And if you don't know that, you will after this video. I have 20 lazy habits. They're so easy, you can call them lazy for a clean and tidy home. Back in the day, I used to clean my home all the time. And the funny, like ironic thing about it, it was never clean. I don't know what I was doing. Well, I do know what I was doing. I wasn't cleaning the right way. I didn't understand these kinds of things. Since then, I've had three kids. I've moved from an apartment to a larger home. And my house is cleaner than ever, but with very minimal effort. I was forced to figure out how to do things faster and easier. I'm gonna go through some habits that I have. I'm gonna go room by room. I'm gonna divulge my secrets and stick around until the end. I have a number of general things that I do that I think will really help you. Okay, so let's start with laundry because laundry is always an issue. So what I do, my habit here is to always have a laundry hamper or laundry basket in everyone's room. So every single person knows not to put their clothes on the floor. They can put their clothes in the laundry hamper and it keeps the whole room clean and tidy. And then on laundry day, I just go around collecting them. My second habit is to designate days for laundry. I'm sorry if you have been here watching my videos and you're sick of hearing me say this, but it really has changed my life. So rather than haphazardly doing laundry or even doing laundry every day like some people recommend, we do laundry twice a week. So I've designated Wednesdays and Saturdays as our family laundry day. People know they can put their clothes in, they know what day they're gonna get them back, and it just keeps the laundry moving and on track and I don't have to think about it. On laundry day, if you're cleaning towels, just grab one of the towels that you're about to clean and use it to tidy up your bathroom. I will take that towel, I will wipe down the mirror, I will wipe down the vanity, I'll wipe out the sink. I'll even use it to wipe off the baseboards, wipe the back of my towel. You may not wanna do this with like a really fancy towel, but honestly, with three kids, none of our towels are really fancy. I just do this with our regular towels. Then they come out nice and clean in the wash. Since we're in the bathroom, another hack that I just do it by habit now and it keeps the sink really clean is when I'm washing my hands, I will take a soapy hand and I will wash out the sink with it and then I'll wash my hands again. You know, my hands are already wet, the sink is dirty, I'm standing there, why not? My next hack, I have been doing this since sixth grade when my parents asked me to clean the shower and I thought it was so weird and I didn't know until I started watching YouTube that there are actually other people out there who do this and talk about it. So I don't feel as weird sharing the hack, but essentially, I will wash the shower while I'm in it. I will be in there washing my hair, waiting for the next step in my conditioner or whatever, and I will just wash the shower. I will get a sponge, I will get shower cleaner, I will scrub it down. I'll even take a magic eraser in there and I will scrub the tub. It works really well and keeps it clean. It just seems like less work for some reason when you're taking a shower and cleaning it than when you set aside a whole big amount of time to clean your shower. Another little lazy hack that I've been doing, and I've been doing this for like the last month, and it's actually shocking how much cleaner my shower is for it. I have been using liquid soap, like body wash, instead of bar soap. I've used bar soap for years. I've just tried out like... You know, they always say that the bar soap creates soap scum, but the liquid soap doesn't, and they're absolutely correct. So if you wanna have less soap scum in your shower, try out the body wash. If you're enjoying this type of content, hit that subscribe button. It is free, and I make content on enhancing your home and simplifying your life. I do videos twice a week. Still in the bathroom, another hack I've been doing is I like to add a tiny bit of toilet bowl cleaner to the bottom of my toilet brush holder. Or what I've also been doing is adding a few drops of essential oil. It just keeps it kind of clean and gives it a nice smell. Okay, moving on to your kitchen, and this one's about your microwave. Instead of setting aside time to clean out your microwave, all I've been doing is when I heat up something in there and it's it's you know in there for a couple of minutes and then I take my food out and the microwave's all hot and steamy, I will take a little cloth and I will wipe out the inside. Keeps the microwave perfectly spotless. But instead of cleaning your microwave, what you should do is get yourself something like this. This is like a splatter protector. You put it on top of your food, you heat up your food, you don't have a dirty microwave after, and it works like a charm. This one is for your dishwasher. I just did this the other day. Sometimes our dishwashers, believe it or not, they need to be cleaned on the inside because they get dirty, and then they start to smell, and they actually don't clean your dishes as well. There's a super simple fix for this. When you are running your dishwasher, don't make a whole big effort to clean it. Simply put a cup of vinegar on the top rack of your dishwasher and run a normal load. They also sell like citric acid cleaners, which I really love. I use those often as well, but it's very simple. You just 
put it in and run the dishwasher with your dishes in it so it literally takes two seconds and your dishwasher is sparkling. And since we're talking about the dishwasher, I just wanna tell you that you can use your dishwasher for much more than just dishes. There are so many things that you can get cleaned in the dishwasher and you should save yourself the time and just do it. You can put your oven filters in there, you can put your even lighting fixtures, you know, those get really dusty with like caked on dust. You can clean pots and pans and wine glasses. You can clean silicone baking mitts and baking trays, even your fridge shelves if they fit. The oven racks get really dirty. And if you don't clean out your oven regularly, your food that you're putting all of this time and effort into cooking and baking actually won't taste as good. So you do wanna keep these clean. Well, oven racks are notoriously hard to get clean, but a great hack I have found is you can take your whole oven rack, stick it in your tub, Fill your tub you know, with some hot water, just kind of cover the racks, and then use some Dawn dish soap or something. Put it in there, let it soak. You could do this overnight, and then all of that grease will come right off. I mean, what's the best degreaser? Soap, right? So this is what you do, works perfectly. Similar to your dishwasher, you also need to clean your washing machine. If you leave your clothes in there for any period of time, you know, you could end up having like those moldy smells, those mildewy smells, Super simple way to get rid of it is you can simply run a load like normal with one cup of vinegar. They say that this also acts as like a fabric softener, so it's kind of like a win-win situation. You get a sparkling clean washing machine while you're using it and your clothes come out fresh and soft. This next hack is for your garbage can. What you can do before you put your garbage bag in there, simply crumple up a few pieces of newspaper, stick those in the bottom. What that will do is it will actually absorb the odors from your garbage and it will also absorb any liquids that might happen to escape, which also causes odors. And then you can replace these as needed. The next tip, I like to vacuum often. I mean, I kind of have a problem. I just see stuff on the floor and I wanna vacuum it. Back in the day, I would just lug out my huge shark vacuum cleaner. I love it, it's super powerful, it works really well, it's like my favorite vacuum cleaner. I can link it below if you're, if you're in the market for a vacuum cleaner, but what's much easier is I recommend just get yourself, if you can, a cordless vacuum cleaner. The key is handheld and cordless. That is what you want, and then when you see things on the floor, no need to lug anything out, just grab your little handheld, problem solved. This one's like super lazy and it is to just take your shoes off at the front door and make a rule to never allow shoes in your home past your entryway. Trust me on this one. Did you know that 90% of the dirt in your home comes from the outdoors? So all you need to do is stop it before it comes in. The ne this next habit is, is to sort of multitask. But whenever I'm on a phone call, I say to myself, okay, well, I'm on the phone, so I'm going to clean while I'm on the phone. You can just pop in some headphones, get some cleaning done. You will be shocked at how much cleaning gets you'll get done and it will just fly by. Did you know that vacuuming burns 200 calories an hour, which is pretty amazing. So sometimes what I like to do is I will just say, you know what, instead of working out today, I'm gonna do some cleaning. So go ahead and use cleaning as exercise. Another hack kind of habit here is just to never have downtime in the kitchen. A surprise, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, whether I'm like waiting in between steps and cooking, waiting for food to heat up in the microwave, whatever I'm doing in there. And I'll just kind of stand around and I finally decided, you know what, I'm not gonna have downtime when I'm in the kitchen. When I'm just waiting for something, I'm going to do something. Whatever needs attention, wipe down the counter, put some dishes in the dishwasher. And if and if the kitchen's perfectly clean, I'll do like some leg lifts. You know, I just try not to have downtime in there. This one is like a general rule, just keep your cleaning supplies in the rooms that you use them. So in each bathroom, I have cleaning supplies for that particular room. In the kitchen, I've got cleaning supplies for the kitchen. Back in the day, I didn't do this, and when I needed to clean, I would be looking all over the house for my different cleaning products. I don't do that anymore. I simply keep them right there, accessible, so I can easily and quickly do it when I need it. And then there's something called the 321 method. This is kind of your last straw when you wanna spur yourself into action. And I don't know why this works, but this is how it goes. When you have a task that you need to do, all you simply need to do is either in your head or out loud, tell yourself you're gonna count backwards and when you get to one, you're gonna do it. So you say, I have to clean off this table. Three, two, one, then you go. Kind of weird, I'm not sure. I do this with my kids. I tell them, you better come over here. One, two, don't let me get to three. 
if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. But this is the idea and it mentally forces you off the couch and forces you to get it done. So those are my 20 lazy cleaning habits. Again, these are not lazy. These are just smart ways to get it all done faster. I also did some lazy decluttering habits. I'm gonna link it here. Go ahead and click on it and I will see you over there. Bye-bye.